Hi, and welcome to my channel. It's me, Tina. I am here to share a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was there yesterday. Today is February 8th, and so I was there February 7th. So hopefully you guys can go and find what I found. I found something really excited, or that excited me anyway. So let me get started. And my little helper, he is just like, was fast asleep, but he was, yeah. Now he's like, oh, I want to help too. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. You do not have to help me. Sorry. You can go to sleep, okay? Say good morning. And Bill's over there. Bill, you want to come say hi? You want to come say good morning? Hey, Billy. Come say good morning. Where's Billy? <coughs> Is he there? Say hi. Hi, Billy. Come say good morning. Come, come so everyone can see you. Hi. Look, say hi. Hi. And Bill's got some cards to open. Um, he'll be doing that very soon. And this guy refuses to get off of me. <laughs> you get down. You get down right there, okay? So, let's get on with the Dollar Tree, if these guys will leave me alone. <laughs> so, I found um, these body wash. It's called... Uh, Faith in Nature, and uh, let me see here. It is 100% um, natural origin, no SR, SLS or parabens. And I like that it said Faith in Nature. Like, I liked that it said that. And it smells really clean. Um, it's a 400... Uh, mills and for a dollar fifty that's what we pay in Canada um, I figured that was not bad so I got this one um, this one is the seaweed and citrus and it smells really good it's the detoxifying body wash hey you go play okay and then I got this one um, it is the uh, wild rose and it says body wash restoring. So I don't know if there's a difference, but it smells really fresh. It's a light scent. Um, and also it's a 400 milligram. Come on. Come on, yo. You don't really want to sit here. He just wants to sit here when he's not supposed to. Um, I got some nail polish remover. And I'm like, okay, a dollar fifty, not too bad. But see that, a dollar seventy-five. Yeah, you really gotta start watching pricing at uh, Dollar Tree because there's their prices are going up. And I think I could have gotten that at Dollarama for less than that and a bigger bottle. But anyway, I got that there. Um. I got some taco seasoning because I was there and I needed it. Um, so I got four and I dropped it and I know he's going to grab it if I don't take it. So, and this is the Smart Fiesta. It's got 30%, um, less sodium the old el paso taco seasoning we love that Whoop. and then hey young man back it up back it up and then i got um a couple of resin molds um i thought this one was really cool to make your own light switch and this one is by Color Flow Resin Studio Light Switch Cover. And I've got a bunch of resin that I need to use up. So I figured I would try that and see how it goes. It gives you good directions on how to use it. 
and uh, yeah, so I got this light switch mold. And then I got this one. It's a jewelry mold, also by Color Flow Resin Studio Backup. And uh, this is, it's got a heart, and you it's got a little hole in it, so you can make it into a charm. And then there's like a square, and these are little smaller squares. See, he's knocking stuff down. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Honestly, this dog thinks he's a crafter. He thinks he has to help me with everything. He thinks he has to help me with everything. And I tell her, tell him, he is not a crafter. He's a crapper, not a crafter. Right? Oh, you're so sweet, boy. You're so sweet, boy. When you want to be. When you're sleeping. Right? Okay, now back up. There's no treats for you today, okay? Just for mama. Just treats for mama, okay? And then I got some of these um, laser cut uh, words. Uh, they are by Crafter Square. Um, this one says imagine and there is three pieces in here and I love using these on journals. Um, let me see. I used my last one on this journal and you can see imagine and I'll be doing a flip through on this one soon. Look how beautiful it is. I love this journal. Um, if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> And then I got this one. It says Cherish. I thought that would make a nice uh, word on a cover. Hey, back it up. You're going to fall. This one says Explore. And this is kind of like in a... It makes it look like a faux wood. I don't think it's real wood. It says Chipboard Shapes. So I don't think it's... It's real wood. And then um, I am planning on doing a, um, a bee-themed uh, journal. So I'm kind of collecting stuff for that. And they had these um, little um, fabric squares. Fabric squares. Fabric swatches. They're just strips. And I bought two packs, but I just combined them into one. So this is kind of what they look like. They have the white daisies and just the yellow. And then there's like some bees on there. I thought that would be cute in a journal. And then I also got... I thought I had... Oh, I do have three here. I got three of these uh, ribbons. This one is like the honeycomb. And you get nine feet on here. And it is floral garden, scrapbooking, gift bows. So I got that one. And then this one has the bees on it. I thought those were cool. And this one's not necessarily for the, um, for the bee journal, but it says home. So I like that one. And this one's got 12 feet. Um, this, these, All of these other ones have 9. But this one's got 12 feet on it. I don't know why that one's got 12. But it does. And then I got a couple of uh, these uh, craft fabric. And these are... 18 by 21 inches, 100% uh, cotton by Crafter Square. And I got two of this kind. And I like to open these because um, I think it was, uh, I can't think now. Uh, can you please sit down so you don't fall? It was... Linda H-65, she was saying that 
if you leave these too long with the uh, with the um, the sticker on them, they get um, the fabric gets sticky, and I really don't want that. And this is like this is a huge piece of fabric. This is really nice for a book cover. So I got two of those, so I'll be taking the stickers off of that. And then this one is, um, I think it's got like mushrooms on it. Let me open it and show you what it looks like. It's kind of like a fall themed. And I just like collecting different kinds of fabric. And like right now it's easy to get off and I've tried some of my older ones and and yeah it's it's more difficult to get them off oh this is really cute like they're they're mushrooms on there really cute look at Teddy is that cute or what is that cute or what oh yes it is yes it is and then I got um these envelopes there's four of them in here and they're the 10 by 13 and I like to use these as journal covers they're perfect for journal covers they're actually a little bit longer what's up you gonna hand them to me thank you Bill so I got four of those for a dollar fifty and then Bill's handing me this I have how much help today this one this one is not so helpful so this one is the column pat column mer pad it says column or pad and it's got these really cool sheets in here i love the colors look at that i figured for in journals i have tons of papers but i i'm always looking for more then my most exciting find oh look let's try let's do this one first let's do that one first and this one so here's some more of those wooden uh, wooden uh, laser cut words this one says friend and there's three in there and then this one says believe and it's in blue And then I got a whole bunch of these. You hold them up, Bill. They're all the same. So I think there's about 10 of them. And those can, you can put that one back too. There. And they come in a package like this. <coughs> um, there is 20 pieces, five designs, four of each. So... This is what you get, and I'll show you the designs. So you get that one, the gingham, or is, no, is that that's the plaid, right? And then you get this blue one. They're all in blue tones. You get that one, and then you get this one, and then you get that one and the squares and then you get this one but I love the way they're packaged and they are what size is this this is a 10 by 10 and uh, I'm working on a project and I need um, probably I'm gonna cut these into quarters and that's exactly what I need so I think that'll be really cool. Thank you for helping, Billy. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Thank you for your help. That was very nice of you. So, yeah, I got a bunch of those. And I got one. Let me count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 of them yep so I'll have lots I'm making a big a big big quilt um they also had them in um like bright colors I would say like kind of like Easter colors or like spring colors 
Then they also had them in um, uh, unicorns. Really cute. Oh my gosh. When I think of how Sheila McNabb would have loved it, she would have, she would have loved them. <laughs> this dog. He is just, yeah. Um, yeah, Sheila would have loved those unicorns, and I would have brought them to her because she would have just loved them. And I feel like buying them and making something just for her, but she is just not here, so I can't do that. But anyway, thank you so much for joining our family dollar tree haul <laughs> and watching the kind of chaos happen and everybody wants to help which i'm so grateful for but when i need help they don't want to so yeah i hope you're having a great day and we'll see you soon god bless bye-bye can you say bye-bye you do you do bye-bye we do bye-bye